So that's how a regular palooka goes from cabbie to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just dumb luck? It didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner, what are the odds? I felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat, and the next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Back then, Salieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Salieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy, he scared into looking the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. Daydream about winning a belt or something. God damn it! Moron! Oh, your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! She's got me. 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 She's That's true, too. And still, Morello left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. Don't, don't swear. swear. We needed Don to know Joey's career was on the downhill. If he was trying to scare someone, I got to bring him up whose house. Don said the area chalked it up, but Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You know, uh... How many more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not at first. For, for a couple of years after I joined up, things, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with the guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. The running bills was out for protection. Me and the boys don't around stick like small time. But, but, I ain't gonna lie. Most days, but we was also having a bit of fun. Tommy, thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on the, the local. Might be done. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out of the quarry. I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. It turns out, Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from no junkers to cow jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. Now, now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race, and he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. 
from us to East Angeles. A truckload. No, but not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. But, well, for everyone except the brother. Do you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. You want some man red driver? You can't find him. Merle's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wages will stay. Everyone will cry foul and erase his face. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, you bring it to one of our mechanics, and make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. It should be no problem, boss. Drink here. As soon as you're ready. Straight name. The pop let you out for a race? If you didn't, it feels like we're packing this place up and moving it to the stands. <laughs> she likes to make sure I have something to drink when I win. Hey Tom, you have a place to go or is not Don Salieri to pay to make the place look pretty? He's got plenty of places to go. Come on. Hey, 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 hey. Tom. So that's a five, a six, along with what's already behind the bar. Hey, Tissy Tommy, big day coming up, right? right? You, 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 you seen the race before? Uh, kind of hard to miss. No, sir, he isn't going to let Morello break his winning streak, huh? No, no, no sir. Got to send him a message. So, tonight, we borrow his guy's motor from the track. My friend Bobby is a guard for a little dough. He'll show you where it is and look someplace else while you turn the key. I like Bobby already. Sure. And then there's the stutter guy, little Lucas Bertone. You take the car to him down under the Ju Ju Juliana Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little. Make the race tomorrow more, more, more interesting. But then I take the car straight back and Bobby can stop looking someplace else. But you gotta be quick. But Bobby comes off shift at 1.30 and then and, and, and the next guy, he's an ass. Oh, hey, hey, hey. If you need somewhere to keep your motor safe where no one can take them, Feel free to use the garage. Carlo finally got around to clearing it out. Thanks. Good to know. Bobby. Yep. 
We can take your car to the garage. Place is empty. Any friend of Ralphie's a friend of mine. I mean, if you got the money, sure. <sighs> Tomorrow morning they start coming. Whole city. They smuggle in hooch. There's fighting. I hate it. Ah, come on. Name a better place to pick up a date than this place this weekend. Don't get me started. Things I've seen. Oh, Jesus! Okay, this is it. Here she is. 1929 Carazella C Series. Best in class. It's a shame you gotta wreck it. If they see this down the road, cops are gonna ask questions. Catch up, sure. Try to keep it one piece, too, huh? So, I gotta be back from Breton by 1.30 before the next guy shift. Yeah, he's an ass. I heard.
shit. Sammy Angelo. Lucas Bertoni. Oh, ain't she a thing of beauty? We don't have much time. Hey, I'm a fast worker. Sit tight. Hello, you. Back before anyone catches on. Go easy with her. She's gonna misbehave. Hey, 
Tell Mr. Salieri. I'm always available for this kind of work. I do stuff for a lot of people. But I always know where I stand with you guys. Hot cars. Getaways. Anything for the right price. Let's just hope Salieri's guy wins tomorrow. For all our sakes. Okay. Drive careful. Jalopy. Okay, let's get out of here. Big day tomorrow. So Sam walks out of the bathroom, and 
and I'm praying he's got a piece on him, because I'm not sure the bartender's gonna hand over what he owes. And his two sons, they're inching closer. I can hear them cracking their knuckles. They're both seven feet tall, built like brick shit houses. What were you carrying? My dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This crazy bastard, he waltzes out of the bathroom to start pissing all over the joint. <laughs> really? What, he didn't call the cops? Nah. Sometimes you just gotta make them think you're crazy. <laughs> Tom, you got the moment. Oh. Jeffrey, you've got a bit of a situation. Is the boss okay? Oh, yeah, it's nothing like that. Mikey Dunn, our driver. Some of Morello's guys roughed him up pretty good last night. Broke his arm, broke his jaw. Send him to the hospital. Jesus. Yeah, tough a locker for Mikey. Anyway, you're going to race for him. Wait, what? Frank, Tom, I don't know. It's a half hour before the starting gun goes off, so this is not a discussion. But Don wants to win. But more importantly, he wants Morello to lose. And you are our best wheelman. Otherwise, I'd be talking to someone else. Yeah. Okay, Frank. Good. Rafi has the car gassed and ready. Get to the track right away. From Europe, we got the hotshot favorite, Martin Lichtenberg, taking some time out of the International Series to compete with us today. Got some news from the grid here. Lost heaven local favorite Mikey Dunn is out. Replacing him is uh, Tommy Angelo. Well, I'm sure you'll all join me in wishing him good luck. They're lined up on the grid. They're ready to start.
Shit! You're kidding me!